Hello YouTube. This is Zero again. I've had an idea to make a video from watching somebody else's video. I just thought I might add out there that um, it's not impossible to put together a little voyage to circumnavigate Antarctica if that's what you wish to do. You see, I've always had this plan that in a few years when I retire that I'm going to purchase a sailboat, sail around the world for a few years and then resell it when I'm done with my voyage. Of course, now it might take a little bit longer because I thought I might add a Antarctic circumnavigation tour in that. What a lot of people don't realize is how obtainable a pretty decent sailboat is that can hold a four or five man crew and I do mean a man crew and I'll, I'll get into that later but all these pictures that you see behind me now are pictures that I um, got from eBay and these are all boats that cost under $10,000. You'll see the, the boat from the outside and then you'll see various pictures from the inside. And you can see that um, if four or five people went in to split that cost, perhaps got some leave of absence from their place of employment or whatever, wouldn't be that hard to circumnavigate Antarctic, but it wouldn't be a voyage for pleasure. It wouldn't be a pleasure cruise. This would be a mission, and it would be something one would have to take seriously, like a job. And of course, it would make some really excellent YouTube videos in the process. Some good flat earth YouTube videos. Man, I'm tired of seeing all the garbage ones that keep coming out. Over and over and over again. It's getting hard to find good ones anymore. So anyway, I thought I might throw that out there. Because a voyage would be a good thing. And I'm sure it can be done. For a lot less money than people are thinking just take a lot of courage but you need to um, understand one thing that this would be a serious voyage and you would probably want to take everything into consideration including old wise sea tales folklore like for instance, um, women aboard ships of mission are usually cursed and doomed. There's a reason for this. When I was a commercial fisherman, this was a long time ago, I'm kind of an old dude, back in the early 80s. I don't know, a, I didn't know rather a single captain or even knew anyone who knew anyone that took women on their voyages not, not a single one I, I didn't think much of it back then because I was just a dumb 20 year old kid but you know now that I see how men react around women like in a place where I work where it's mostly dominated by men I could understand this men just act different around women and out on a a boat where there's going to be lots of dangers this is going to just add to that danger so it's not something you want to take your wife children or girlfriends on you know this is something that needs to be considered very seriously I, I don't want people 
to think that I'm being racist here because I'm really not. You see, in today's society, we have Hollywood and a media outlet who love to portray women out of character. And there's a reason why they do this. And it's to their advantage. Just go to Google and punch in images of women breaking bad with guns and swords and you'll get thousands and thousands of images mostly from Hollywood of these um, psycho looking women all geared up like commandos and Conan the woman barbarian kind of things you see if they can get people to not understand who they are what they are or even where they are for that matter then they know they're not going to be able to figure out much of anything else and that's why they do that so women become lost and men become lost but from what I'm seeing it's even more so women and you have to keep in mind that they're not doing this to make you stronger they're doing this so you become lost so I'm going to treat men like men and I'm going to treat women like women and just that's just how I'm going to do it and if anyone thinks that I'm doing wrong then they have probably already been transformed into something else something other than themselves possibly even something other than human I really don't know but that's just how I see it so anyway I thought it might be a good idea to throw that out there but I wanted to give a word of caution that a C mission is a very serious operation and it should be taken so. And I don't want anyone to go out and do this and then read or see them on YouTube trashing a boat or losing their lives. So I heed warning. Even if you are stopped by the military for some reason it would still make a bunch of great YouTube videos and it would be a great adventure just imagine it out there in the open sea sailing around ice you don't have to get real close to the ice just keep it in binocular range and make sure you know your course and keep track of your days and everything else and make a bunch of YouTube videos a great adventure out on the high seas you may even run into some unknown islands you know there might be natives there I've actually heard of people doing that, finding islands that are completely uncharted with um, people on the islands that no one's even heard of before. Yeah, even in today's world, you can find places that are pretty much unmapped out there, and I think it'd be a fantastic voyage. So, thanks again for listening through one of my rambling on YouTube videos and comment if you have any questions about the voyage and of course subscribe and like 
Goodbye.